everyone. Um, I want to show you all a trick about finding out if your D20s are balanced. This is a golf trick, and um, golfers usually do this um, with their golf balls to see if their golf balls are balanced out. So what you do is you take some water and you add some salt till you get your dice to where they can float or move freely in the solution. Um, here's an example. This is a translucent die. So as you can see through the, in the die, there's really no um, nothing inside of it. No, there's no inclusions. So if you see here, it landed on a seven, but it's floating in the water. So if I tip it, it'll go to a four. It'll go to an eighteen. There we go. Um, this this die has pretty good balance. Now, um, if you look at some opaque dies. Um, from Chessex um, Here's one um, Now this die itself popped up on a 20 So you roll it again. It's a 20 again And what's going on is that the die is off balance because on opaque dice um, They can hide inclusions better and they use a cheaper grade plastic also um, The last time I cracked one of these open they had a chalk like core to them I'm not sure if they still do but um you can i'm going to crack one open later but if you look at it you know the the opaque one does that i have another opaque one that's a little bit heavier and so it doesn't float as well but it always goes back to the 20 and again to the 20 because they're not balanced correctly because they can hide imperfections in opaque dice better than they can clear dice so that's just one trick to see how your dice are weighted. So if you have that unlucky die, for instance, here's one of my daughter's dice um, that rolls very low. If you notice, it just popped up to a four. So if I roll it again, and it goes back to four. So there's a reason for that because they skimped on production. So as I said before, I went ahead and cracked open this D20. This is Chessex brand. I got it at the table at Dragon Con last year. If you look at the inside of it, the way it, I guess because they don't let it uh, cool down correctly or they're just too quick about it or don't heat it up enough, uh, you'll notice it's kind of grainy and chalky inside. Um, what this does is it creates an off-center balance to the die. So it, it's it's not centered at all for as far as balance goes so when you're rolling that die and you're getting a lot of 20s well it's because your die's messed up if you're rolling it and getting a lot of lower numbers like fours and threes it's because your die's messed up um you know there's a few companies out there that try not to do this um one of them was game science um you know game game science dice are kind of hard to get a hold of now but um you know, if you get a translucent die, they can't do this with translucent dies. So, uh, so I would go with that, and more than likely you'll have a, a decent, well-rounded die. So you'll get actual random results.